Welcome back. It's been a while. Um, I've missed you guys. Hope you're feeling mutual. Uh, yeah, I think today. And you know, the Nova will be very much aware what this is. And I think today, I think we're going to make a start in the battery, uh, battery tray. Okay, so as I said um, in the intro, today we're going to be getting on with the battery tray. Uh, I don't know how far, well, I already know how far on I'm getting with it. I haven't got as far as I thought I would have. Um, hence why I've still got the battery tray in my hand. Um, as always, there's a lot of um, a lot of rot that I've uncovered uh, underneath the battery tray, so hopefully we're going to get dug into that. Um, I apologise I haven't been with you guys last week or the week before, but for those of you that are on my social media will see that I was subject to the old Rona. Um, as much as it was a lovely 10 days rest up in the house with my feet up relaxing, it wasn't that good. I've got 101 things better off than I'd be doing sitting at home. Thank you very much, Boris. Um, so, I've also had a bit of bad news this week, uh, hence why it's been a, a few weeks off. Unfortunately, sad to say I've had to get my dog put to sleep. Um, cancer's a horrible thing. That's pretty much all I can say about that, really. But uh, rest in peace, son. You know, see you again the next time. Uh, but other than that, we're back on it now. And we'll see how far we'll get on with this. So... Let's just get cracked straight on. I'm gonna chop out the uh, the old the old panel and uh, see where we go from there. Let's get on. Okay, so as I said, I think I'm gonna try and get the battery tray done in this video. You can see it's had a previous repair here, which I'm not best pleased about. It's a bit it's a bit ropey. The um, scuttle cover's had a bit of previous repair, but I'll deal with that when I come to put it back on. But obviously the biggest thing you can see is here. Um, I've got a few remedial repairs to do on this panel here. Um, other than that, it should just be a matter of marking it up, cutting it out, drill out the spots and see where we'll go. I think I've got a bit of a remedial repair here to do as well. Because if you look at when I was cutting out the uh, the scuttle cover, I might have gone a little bit, got a little bit vicious with the uh, with the grinder and cut through. But yeah, what we'll do, what we're gonna do today, I think, is we're gonna um, Try and get this cut out. Just see where we go, just see where we get to with it basically. See how we get on.
getting it as cut out as I can, um, just roughly, just to give us a, a rough kind of, you know. Um, that is still quite a, still quite a tight fit in there. But I don't know whether that's the battery tray that's poorly made. Or whether I've still got, well, I've no, I've obviously still got something to take out, but this, I'm suspecting this, I may have a bit of trouble with this part right here um, to get it in because I'm still, as I say, I'm still quite away off where I need to be. But the fact is, it's trimmed out. Now, now, my, one of my biggest bugbears, as you all know, is repairs that aren't done properly. So, the patch that was welded on here that thankfully I've cut out, the butcher up on here, I've got to try and take this off the chassis leg a bit. But that's all bodge in there. But you can see where they've squeezed the bodge through. You know, so I'm gonna have to, I suspect I'm gonna have to take well I would have to take all this off anyway, but I suspect I'm gonna have to take this off and repair this well, I know I know I need to repair this whole lip here, right the way up there, and I think I'm gonna have to come right the way up onto this, as much as I really didn't want to have to do that. I'm going to have to clean all this area up and see what I'm dealing with. I've also got some repairs to do on this panel here. Not that many, um, but once this panel's repaired and this piece here is repaired, this is trimmed up to fit and the line straightened up along the back there, that should then be ready to weld the new panel in. Touch wood. So, as you can see in there, the line's a bit... Hold on. There. As you can see in there, the line's definitely a little bit on the wonky side, but I'm not, I'm not cut out more than what I need to be. Um, but as I say that there, I have to do some serious repairs on that bit there. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just shut the camera off for now until um, I get it cleaned up a little bit more, and I can actually get a look and see what I'm doing. Um, get a look and see what I'm doing, and just sort of plod on with it and. Uh, Next time you see it, it should be best way to be cleaned up. Six and a half hours later. Right. Now I have it. It's taken out. The reason I didn't. The reason I didn't video any of this is because basically it's took us about three to four hours of just me just literally chipping away a tiny little bit. If you look, that there is what I've chopped out of the engine bay, uh, the battery tray. So you can see there's quite a bit's come out of there. Um, we need to, so building back up in the layers, like I've always said, when you take it apart, you should always try and take it apart and see how the layers go. So what I'm thinking is this piece here is first, so I need to build that lip up. I also need to do a bit of work across here because it's a bit rotten down here. So I'm going to trim it down over and just basically put a leading edge on, which has got to come all the way up into here. This edge finishes about right there where my finger is. So basically it should follow this line down. Quite an easy piece that one to do. Um, so that'll be easy. Next piece I've got to do is up under here. Now, I've got a bit of rot in there, but I've also got a couple of holes further along as well. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is taking this panel off and just repair this whole half of Vienna wing um, again. That should follow this line so it overlaps, comes to about here. No, normally it just sort of curls in there, but I want to fill this hole in the corner the same as I've done on the other side. Um, I'll fathom that bit out once I'm done. Yeah, I've got to get this, this filch panel off here, rattle that on, and then once that's on, then I believe I can put the battery tray in. So if you watch, if you see, trimmed along that edge, 
up that edge. It's nice and tight in in there. Obviously this will get filled in when I do the repairs to the inner wing in the front panel and down the front. I think what I'm going to do though and put a solid edge on the same as that one right the way around the front. I might anyway, I might not, I don't know because I believe that the scuttle panel scuttle panel sits over the top of there anyway. Yeah, it's a battery tray pretty much well. I would say right the weld in but it's not really because it's as I say I've got um, this panel along the front here to weld in all the way up there. I've got the inner wing to repair down to there and I've also got a couple of repairs to do on this in our kick panel here and um, then once all that's done the battery tray is ready to weld in and get this side what you didn't see the last time was let's see if I can get it down low enough there I've still got this side here to repair which I didn't repair when I did did the welding on the other side um, I repair that side and then basically scuttle, scuttle panel back in and then ooh, hold on try that again pull out the light and then, yay, that's the engine bay starting to look a bit more like an engine bay, so happy days. Um, yeah, start with some repairs. Weld it in. It's all welded in there. It's a bit warm, you can see. Um, it's not mega pretty, but it's in and it is strong. You know, it's going nowhere. I need to just put a little crease in about there where my light is. Um, I've got it going straight flat, uh, going off the battery tray that I've got. It kind of dips down and comes back up again so I need to just just basically recrease this just put a gentle crease in it heading down over and then back up over at that point there that's not a bad job to do though but I mean that's the start of the repair done um, as I say it's not the prettiest but it is in it's strong and it's penetrated right through so it's just a matter of uh, just a matter of dressing it back and that's another patch done. I think next, the next patch that I'm going to do is repair this in here. So this is a nice solid, solid to go off. And then I'll have to remove this panel. So this, this series could be a, this uh, 
Battery Chair series could be a bit more than just two episodes. I'm suspecting maybe it's two or three. Um, so yeah, but other than that, I mean, we are making progress. As I say, I've still got that to do down there. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll deal with that once I've done this side, eh, just before I put the uh, the panel back in down here. Hopefully, it should be it should go well. Well, that's it. That's all we've got time for. I think I'm going to knock it on the head there for today because it's about six, seven o'clock on Saturday night, and I'll be quite honest, I'll quite like the weekend with my wife just to relax, sit back and enjoy. So I'm going to have to go up night, get this video edited, hopefully get this thing up for you tomorrow. Um, I'm thinking in future what I might do is I might upload on Monday nights, which will give us longer to do the jobs on Saturdays and. Sundays to edit my videos. Um, unfortunately, this whole working for a living malarkey and trying to get this done is, is just hard bloody work, I'll be honest. Um, so yeah, see how far I've gotten. Um, we've we'll getting rid of, we've we'll panelled in one of the bits of rot. As I say, all I need to do is just dress that back up. Um, I'm going to paint all the, the crusty bits with some, some rust, and, rust and ver uh, converter. So hopefully that'll be the end of that. Uh, next time I think what we'll do is we're going to tackle this this inner panel here, and I think we might actually pull this outer panel off and redo the inner wing. That should be quite a straightforward job to do. Touch wood. Once that's done, then we can get the uh, the battery trace stuck back in, and I'll be quite honest with you, I think that should be quite a quick job to do as well, because I've got, uh, I've checked up, and it looks like it should be a quite a nice fit, so hopefully that should go quite well. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, so I would like to thank all the new subscribers. Uh, thank you very much for subscribing. Again, I know I keep bleating on about this, but you guys do keep me motivated. Unfortunately, as I said at the start of the video, I've had a few personal issues that have gone on, which has kind of stopped us from uploading last week and the week before, but, uh, but I'm back on it now. So we are doing weekly from this point onwards. Unless I catch the road out again. Who knows? You know, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank all new subscribers. Um, if you would be interested in supporting the channel, which would be very much appreciated, I've got some big projects coming up. And, uh, well, let's face it, building cars isn't, isn't exactly a cheap game. So if you'd be interested in supporting the channel, it would be very much appreciated. And there are links down below, pop a link down below to buy me a car part. Um, so yeah, you can do that for as, as little as two pound, maybe a pound, I'm not sure I'll have to, Go and check that, but it is like literally cost of a cup of coffee, effectively. Um, like you see, it would be very much appreciated, and all the money that goes into that will get ploughed back into the, the workshop. Also, when I get to £100 in the that little pot, um, I will do a free merch giveaway on the channel. Just hand it out free. Um, have decided what I'm going to do yet, but it'll be, it'll be worth it. Uh, so yeah, as I say, thanks again for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we shall see you the next time. Thanks for watching.